Y'all watching Bondo Fight. It's Sexton versus Dog on tonight's Bodog Fight World Card. Rosie Sexton has an MMA record of four wins and no losses. She stands at five feet four inches tall, weighs in at 124 pounds, and is from Manchester, England. Karina Dom has recorded five wins and two losses. She stands at five feet four inches tall, weighs in at 122 pounds. From Vila Vela, Brazil. Rosie Sexton is definitely a jiu-jitsu fighter. She will try to bring this fight to the ground. Karina Dam, she's very good looking. She has a sex appeal. She likes to wear pink. But she's very good standing on the ground. Really, for me, it's all about seeing how good I can be. The most important thing for me is winning. I want to be the champion. I've always trained mostly with men. I think I've always been taken seriously. My nickname is Ring Barbie because I fight in pink and I wear a ponytail. I train with Carl Tanswell. He's my boyfriend as well. And my son Lewis, he's uh, 20 months old. He likes to put my MMA gloves on and uh, hit things. So it's definitely hard work looking after a child and training. My brother Rodrigo, in my opinion, he's one of the best jiu-jitsu teachers in the world. That's why I train with him. Brazil, I do like Brazil. Karina's stand-up is, is dangerous. I certainly don't want to be on the end of it. She looks like she hits hard. I know, obviously, she's a good grappler. On my feet, I think I've got the edge. What I know of my opponent is that she has a sharp ground game. I am totally focused on this competition. In my heart and mind, I'm only on victory, 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 and the first place. I'm really looking forward to this fight. I'm sure she's been training hard for it. I'm sure she's ready. I'm counting on it, because I reckon it's going to be a really good fight. I want to have a good fight with her and to raise my arm in victory. When Karina gets in there, she's going to have to be ready for a war. This is Bodog Fight. I'm Lon McCarran from St. Petersburg, Russia. Coming up next, a great women's battle between two of the strongest female fighters in MMA. To talk about one of the fighters is my broadcast partner, Jeff Osborne. Uh, Karina Dam uh, is a great fighter, but also well-known uh, as gracing the pages of the Japanese Playboy. Yeah, her nickname is Beauty But the Beast. She co-runs a school with her brother in Vila Vela, Brazil. And they are a very, very successful jiu-jitsu team. And she wants to take that jiu-jitsu to the next level tonight because she's got a very tough opponent. Her opponent is Rosie Sexton from Great Britain. And to talk about her is my partner, Paul the Mahler Lazenby. And she has been the standard bearer for female fighters in the UK. Yeah, this girl's got to be the poster girl for time management. She's a PhD and a new mother and a black belt in Taekwondo and the Cage Warriors women's British champion. Somehow, she's also found the time to come here to St. Petersburg. Now that she's conquered England, she wants to move on into Eastern Europe. Fighting out of the red corner, standing 5 foot 4 inches and weighing in at 122 pounds. With an MMA record of 5 wins and 2 losses, from Vila Bella, Brazil, I present to you, Karina Beauty But The Beast Dog. And fighting out of the black corner, standing five foot four inches and weighing in at 124 pounds, with an MMA record of four wins and a single loss from Manchester, England, I present to you Rosie Sexton. Judge, 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 are you ready? Are you ready? Fight! And here we go, scheduled for three five minute rounds. Karina Dam in the pink and white. Rosie Sexton in the black hand with the combat shorts. Yeah, man, the women are, are just letting it fly. Nice two knees to the midsection of Rosie Sexton by Karina Dam. Immediately in a clinch, Karina Dam trying to tip over Rosie Sexton, but Rosie's not going anywhere. I tell you what, the, the pace of these women's fights here on Bodog Fight are like, are like nothing we've seen before she started out strong strong with a one two three four combo look at the knees well remember too bodog fights the only major league of mixed martial arts to make a concerted effort to support women's martial arts women's mixed martial arts so these ladies aren't used to getting fights that frequently and they tend to make the fullest of the opportunity when they do get the chance and it does show and the excitement level in all of the fights and we mentioned uh, earlier that Karina Dam had appeared in the Japanese version of Playboy, and we got to go one step further. She was clothed. 
Maybe not fully clothed, but she was she was clothed. The Karina in the pink and the white, trying to control Rosie Sexton. And look at this, the, the switching off of the powers here. Once you think uh, Karina has her jammed up there in the corner, it's uh, Rosie who transitions around and pushes Karina up against there. And at the same time, when the camera gives us a close-up of their facial expression, they're both looking very calm, very centered. They've both been here before. They're both confident in their abilities. Now, Karina just picked her up completely off the ground with that knee to the midsection. Troy Waugh keeping the action at full speed, brings it back to their feet. Look at these leg kicks by Karina. I thought she was all jujitsu here. Somebody's uh, not putting the full resume down. Absolutely not. She's showing some good Muay Thai skills. She knows how to time her strikes, and she's very adept with those knees to the midsection. Now, last time I saw Rosie Sexton, she had a completely shaved head. She showed up here, didn't even recognize her. She says, I'm taking... Uh, work with children a little bit more serious yeah. <laughs> oh now Rosie's starting to throw the punches Karina brings a knee right up through the middle but Rosie's head wasn't there Rosie has Karina backed into the corner can you imagine the fights that the mother of Karina and Rodrigo had to break up as a kid <laughs> very close with their brother and we'll see her brother on Bodog fight. And now Rosie trying to find any opening that she can on Karina Dam. Both women being very stubborn. And wisely peppering that thigh with low knees. And Rosie just escaped a high knee strike from Karina Dam. I'm very impressed with the knees that Karina is landing. As, as we said before, I, many fighters rather take a knee to the face or a knee to the head, rather, as long as it's not to, to right on the chin or on the, the point of impact to knock you out. But uh, these to the stomach got to be depleting the energy level of Rosie. Now it's Rosie returning the favor, and finally Karina gets it to the ground. And all of a sudden, Karina Dam's corner became extremely animated. They know, as anyone who's scouted Karina Dam knows, that this is her area of primary expertise. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu loves the mat. It can do anything from almost any position. The experts can. And let's see how Rosie Sexton plans to fend her off. Rosie's showing some good flexibility there, grabbing her own ankle, pulling it up high around the shoulder blades of Dam. Rosie going for armbar. That is extended. And, and that's it. Oh, wow. Who would have called it? Submitting the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist. And just as a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu specialist would do it, Rosie Sexton found an opening. And that's one thing you learn in MMA the person on the bottom is not necessarily the one at a disadvantage. And Rosie Sexton wins it here in the first round over Karina Dam. I'm almost speechless. I, I definitely wouldn't have called that, especially given the way the fight was going. And especially not a win by submission. It was just Rosie Sexton has really impressed me tonight. Uh, Karina Dam was already impressing me as the fight went on, but uh, Rosie definitely pulled out, pulled it out when the going got tough. Yeah, it looked like she was losing the fight. Just when you think Karina Dam gets it to the ground, which should be her strong point, Rosie pulls out a beautiful armbar submission. And this is the beautiful thing about mixed martial arts. You never know what to expect. You had a Taekwondo black belt getting the worst of the striking and a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu stylist getting tapped out with an armbar. Rosie Sexton is elated with that victory. She knows how important it was to take out Karina Dam here. 14, first round, armbar, winner. Wow. Four minutes and 14 seconds of round number one. Rosie Sexton, I think, shocked everyone in this arena with that armbar, particularly from the position that she started it. Rosie Sexton now 5-1-0, proving she is one tough female MMA fighter. I practiced to fight against a boxing girl, so I practiced to fight on top the entire fight, but I got here and I faced a ground girl. This is my strength as well, but it wasn't what I had trained for for the last three months. 
I practiced to fight against a boxer. This wasn't my time. Who knows the next time? Really not how I expected that fight to go. <laughs> um, she got the takedown and I worked through to guard. And she was obviously getting quite tired by then. She's been using up a lot of energy. And um, it's not what I was expecting, but I found myself going for an arm bar from the bottom. And all the time I was going for it, I was thinking, this isn't going to happen. This isn't happening. This isn't, isn't going to work. And I got it on. And the next thing I knew, she was tapping. And it's, what well, like I say, no one was more surprised than me. <laughs> Coming up next, it's Amanda Buckner versus Julie Kedzie. Coming up on Bodog Fight St. Petersburg.